often in the PDA we design for very small spaces. You'll notice this floor that is 40 wide uh, by 60 long. I will begin my course review with a little bit of analysis. I turn on the dog to path tool, make sure that it's connected to numbers, and I'm showing distance as one for obstacle. I, what I see immediately in this course is this really uh, terribly compressed turning radius in the pinwheel, 9 feet, 8 feet, 10 feet. Here's something more generous of 11 feet. You've got to consider the nice working dogs at 12 and 16 inches. A minimum of 12 feet is required uh, in a pinwheel. And there are other scenarios where we would do this as well. This whole problem is caused by uh, a problem of compression in the design. You'll notice the dog walk leaning into the course, uh, it, applying this compression, not really giving any room for design out here. This is so easy to fix. You just straighten up the dog walk, move it over and out of the way, and we free up all this area that used to be unusable. So now, I'm going to kill this line just for a moment so we can see what we're doing. Um, it, it, I have the capacity to kind of open this stuff up just a little bit and provide a little bit of room to breathe, a little room to work out in this pinwheel. You see it? Okay, now it's a now it's a much more generous pinwheel. That wasn't the only problem with the course. One of the problems with this course, I feel, is its lack of interest. It's not a very interesting course. As you see here, we begin dog on right, dog on right, all the way around to the table, and as we leave the table, dog on right, here's a little handling moment. The handle might do a front cross, put the dog in the weed pole, stuff him down in the tunnel, uh, do a rear cross, now it's dog on right, dog on right, dog on right, all the way out. This is not a very interesting course at all. This is really easy to fix. I'm going to take these loops that the judge has created and give them a little twist. I'm going to turn on my dog to path tool to no longer connect to numbers right here. So here, coming off of the dog walk, I go into the pinwheel. But rather than continuing the pinwheel, I'll flip out over the teeter and into this wider pinwheel here. Now back through and up to the table. Now I can reverse directions in the pinwheel, flip the dog into the pipe tunnel, and go on out. This is a much more interesting now with the course renumbered, I just have to go back in and do a little tidying up. Fix some stuff that I might have fixed earlier, except I knew I wanted to redesign it anyway. A little bit of a problem right here. I'll fix it. Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We can move that tunnel over just a little bit. Move the A-frame, which is also causing a little bit of compression on the course. And there we have a finished course.